so hello friends welcome to my channel so in this video i am going to explain 12th standard physics question paper 2022 karnataka board so let us start the video so if you come to the first question here they have asked answer any 10 of the following questions First question that is in this first main answer in this first main you have to answer any 10 questions so they are asked in first one that we have to name the apparatus that is used to detect electric charge on a body so which apparatus is used for detecting electric charge on a body so the apparatus that is used to detect electric charge in a body is Cold leaf electroscope, or it is known as electroscope. Only. That's it. Okay, so this is the answer for question number one. So, question number one is. Moving on to our next question, that is question number two. Here they are asked to define electric dipole moment. They have asked us to define electric dipole moment. So let us define electric dipole moment. So electric. Dipole moment of an electric dipole is defined as The product of either charge of the dipole and the Dipole length that is its formula that is p vector is equal to, to p vector is equal to q into 2a vector. Okay, so question number two is done. Now let us move on to the next question that is question number three. Here they are asked state Ohm's law. They are asked us to state Ohm's law. Question number three. So the ohms law it is the current flowing through the the current that is flowing through the conductor is it is directly proportional to the potential difference proportional to the potential difference
maximized across its end its ends provided temperature and other physical other physical conditions of the conductor remains same formula is i infinity b okay this the formula so question number three is done Now let us move on to our next question that is question number 4. The resistance of a carbon resistor with 4 colored rings is the value there you are. We have to identify the color of 4th ring. Okay. 4th So 50 is 10% of 500 that again so that is tolerance is 10% its tolerance is 10% so therefore silver color is represented or represents 10% tolerance ok this is the answer for question number 4 so question number 4 is done Moving on to our next question, that is question number five. Okay, question number five. Here they are asked, what is the magnitude of magnetic force on a charged particle moving anti-parallel to the uniform magnetic field? So this is the question they have asked in question number five. So let us see the answer. Question number five. So as we know the equation uh, for magnetic force on a moving charge and force on a moving charge it is given by F is equal to QV sin theta. This is the formula. Okay, so hence here theta is 90 degree. Sorry, 180 degree, not 90. Theta is 180 degree. Therefore, here FP is equal to 0, 0 degree. So the magnitude of the Magnetic force on a charged particle moving anti parallel to the to a uniform magnetic field is zero. 
option three question number five is correct moving on to our next question that is question number six here we have to define the magnetic declination of a place on the earth question number six the magnetic declination at a place on the earth is the angle it is the angle between it is the angle between magnetic meridian and geographic meridian at that place so this is answer for question number six what is the magnetic declination at the place on the earth they are asked to define they may also ask what is the magnetic declination at the place on the earth also so question number six is done moving on to our next question that is question number seven here they asked we have to mention the significance of lens law what are the significance of lens law we have to mention here in this question number seven okay so it is mentioned the significance of so it signifies the law of conservation of energy so the lenses slot signifies the law of conservation of energy question number seven is done so so let us move on to our next question that is question number eight so here they are asked to write the expression for the natural frequency of oscillation in an lc circuit okay so formula one by root lc okay it is anglo angular frequency here it is the angular frequency formula first then f is equal to 1 by 2 by root lc frequency it is so here in this way L is so here L is inductance of the inductor and C is the capacitance of the capacitor. So, question number 8 is done. So, let us move on to our next question, that is question number 9. Here they are asked 
write the relationship between the magnitude of the electric and the magnetic magnetic field in a electromagnetic waves this is the question they are asking question number 9 so e by p is equal to c is a formula where here e is the magnitude of electric field b is the magnitude of magnetic field and c is the speed of em waves in vacuum okay this is the answer for question number 9 next moving to the question number 10 Here they are asked, we have to name the type of electromagnetic rays lying between ultraviolet and gamma rays. So the electromagnetic rays that lying between the ultraviolet ray and gamma ray is X rays. X rays lies between the ultraviolet ray and gamma rays. Next question they are asked is. what are coherent source of light so question number 10 is the so next 11th question what are coherent sources of light they have asked so coherent sources of light so question number 11 so two sources way so two so sources of wave are said to be coherent sources if the phase difference between with the phase difference between the displacements produced by each of the wave at any particular point does not change with time so this is the and what is coherent what are coherent sources of light so question number 11 is done so next question number 12 how does the resolving power of the telescope change on increasing the diameter of the objective lens it changes because the resolving power it increases so the resolving power of telescope it increases so 